This series was made possible due to the generosity of the War Is Hell patrons on Patreon. Thanks for your support. We're only two days away from heading home now, and we've come up with a plan to take out the top Taliban leaders in the area. Believe it or not, we're heading back to Ramia, the place where this all started. This time though, there's more of us. We have a Challenger tank with us. We're going to clear out the entire town once again while HQ monitors the Taliban radio traffic. If we can find out where they are, we can hit them next. I'm not going to worry about the here and now though. We're about ready to land near the tank, and then we're off to Ramia. Hello Warfighters, Warriors, and welcome to the next episode of Arma 3 Stories, where we are following the last two days now of the deployment for Sergeant John Tipton in Afghanistan in 2013. We've gotten out of the helicopter, we're going to link up with the forces that we have here on the ground as well as the Challenger tank. Now we're going to be utilizing the tank very similar to what we did in the last episode, so this is why it's important to be subscribed and hit that notification bell so that way you guys can see when episodes come out because we do want to be able to link these together but we did a really good job with the warrior uh and having it support us so we're gonna as i mentioned kind of follow the the same process so i'm gonna try and move the challenger tank up there we're already taking fire and it seems like we're like 1.2 clicks away from our objective so being engaged this far out is a real problem for us we're gonna have to use the terrain and everything else around us especially this challenger tank here to help us as we advance we've got to neutralize whatever that is that is shooting at us it seems like it could be a zsu or something similar to that i'm gonna to have to get my binoculars out at some point but i'm really working on walking the tank up here just a little bit at a time I'm gonna move green team in a separate direction from the tank but still try and maintain at least some level of closeness between the two groups so we can support one another where did the challenger go oh there he is taking some fire i'm surprised it's not rolled over at that angle there we go getting a good shot didn't hit anything just landed on the hill kicked up some dust yeah i'm like staying probably a little too close to the tank hey there we go Got an explosion. We've got large uh, pillar of smoke that's about ready to rise up from the hill. But I don't think we're out of the woods yet. There's still another round that kind of landed nearby. Yeah, see something still firing. Use this deflade for cover as we move up and also for the tank. Get them moving up here too. Gosh, what's happening in my infantry? It looks like they're taking some fire. They're quite a ways away, and that not ideal for me as we're trying to move up with the tank, but on the bright side, I am always worried about AI moving with vehicles and them getting like run over or something. So at least I know these guys are safe. If they were to like move up with me, then and somebody gets run over, that's just gonna slow me down as I have to work on patching them up. Okay, tank hasn't engaged anybody for some time. 844 meters away from our objective. We've still got a long way to go on foot, and there's everybody else. We get Team White, which is the infantry, to move up with us. Team Green is going to be the Challenger tank, by the way. It's like, here we go. Move Team Green forward. Right before they go into this valley, they should be able to engage any forces that are out in the open. It sounds like it is using the machine gun this time. Unless we've got people off to our left. Like, part of me thinks we've got somebody over to our left. I just can't see anybody. Maybe it's some patrol. Oh, there they are. Yep, that was a patrol. Is that a fire team element? Maybe it could be a squad if we got some of our guys opening up on them they're gonna get into the trees for cover they're gonna get one hit on me too yeah that's a squad 
try and hit these guys as they're standing up and running perpendicular to my my location. We've already got about half of them down. Once we've neutralized the threat, I'll finally patch myself. Actually, I might do it now. It's like white teams acting as the cavalry just coming up here and helping me out at the very last second. Okay, I wonder who they're engaging now. I don't see any movement in the direction that I was aiming at. There could be some people who are inside the trees away from where I can see. I'll just fire a few rounds hoping somebody's in that general direction. Got some dust kicking up around me. Some bullets landing nearby. Probably should have done this a little bit ago. Who is he? You know, just seeing that he's aiming in that direction. There we go. That's who's engaging us. Move up. Maybe knock down some of the, the brush or at least get in front of it. Okay, got a hit on him. Looks like it was a ricochet, though. I'll get it. Too high. All right, time to reload. It might be somebody else who is above him too on the road. Yeah, that was a mistake. Yep, standing up, not a good idea. Except for the fact that he's moving and... Ooh, that one was close. This guy's what, 600 meters or something like that? He's gonna get away. Never mind, here I was like super confident that we were going to get the, the kill on him, but wasn't meant to be. All right, back in the defilade here. We'll get up on this hill right in front of us. Probably should move the challenger up too. There's really not a good spot to kind of put him right here. I have to move him farther to the right out in the open. We're going to hit a valley between us and Ramir. That is going to be the most difficult part to get the tank through because I feel like it's going to get stuck, but it's very least it's not really going to be able to do too much so i might just park him on you know this area to my right and again allow him to be able to take out anybody who might be in the open is that the same guy we were engaging before it very well could be try and pat some of this grass down oh Back up. Nice. I can't aim my weapon high enough. Here I was thinking I wasn't going to be able to. Okay, finally got him. Still engaging some enemy forces around here. Nobody off. Oh, I got him. Oh, I was surprised I got him. That was like really threading the needle with... Uh, aiming into that window. I was going to say, I didn't I didn't think I really noticed too much of anybody, and that took out a lot of enemy forces. That was like, what, four or five guys that were on the ground around that vehicle? Man, we're like... We're just destroying these guys. I think that might have been Johnson who ended up getting the kill right there. And he was using AT that's not guided at all. That was one accurate shot. Challenger, I was expecting to, to potentially take it out. Okay, we're 500 meters away. Remember, we got to clear out this entire town, so this is going to take a while for us to go through. Probably won't necessarily go house to house to do some building clearing, but we'll, we'll do soft clearing. We'll basically kind of go around an area. If we start getting engaged, then we'll go about clearing out the structure. All right, somebody right in front of, right in front of me at the building. Yeah, he's the only one that I see around here. Oh, somebody else got him. And I see some movement behind him. That's a fire team. It's going to be hard to get these guys while they're moving, and I'm just having a hard time maintaining some steady aim. I don't have my weapon, like, just perfectly prone on the ground. Uh, if I do so, I don't think I'd have a high enough angle to engage. Yep, see, there we go. So I've got to do it this way. 
which means I still have the challenge of maintaining some stability. Better than if I was standing, obviously. But here I was wasting all that time, and now I've lost where those enemy forces are. I'm just going to move up here. We're going to have white team move up with us, too. Green team, we'll call them into the town if we absolutely need it, but I do want to try and avoid that. Again, RPGs are a factor, and if these guys are hit at close range and we either destroy the tank or we get the tank destroyed, not going to be able to have it for the rest of the campaign. Okay, this is dangerous. But I haven't taken any shots, so I think I'm okay. All right, since I've kind of was point man right here, we'll get Team White to stand up and start following me through this. Mortar 500 meters away. That is ideal for them to engage me. All the more reason to kind of move it up here a little bit faster. Once those mortars start coming in, there's really not much I'm going to be able to do as far as getting cover unless I just rush into one of those or one of these buildings around me here. Okay, buildings look clear. We'll wait for everybody else to kind of catch up. So I'm going to move a little slower than they are. Not going to try and rush this. I'd rather do this as a team. Nobody's shooting me out of that building. Can't see anybody in the windows. It can't be this easy. I mean, honestly, it feels like things are too quiet right here. I'll just keep moving until I'm sure that the area is clear, but I'm not going to hold my breath. There's probably going to be a lot of guys that are hiding out. And Yep, got the mortar called in. Now it's 300 meters away. I mean, you got to really be right on top of that thing to, to be in a position where it's not going to engage you if they do spot you. I don't think that mortar is linked to any unit. Uh, sometimes they are. I mean, one of the things that is helpful is if a mortar team is linked to a unit. If, you know, like somebody in the squad or fire team spots me, he can relay that information onto the mortar. Oh, guy on the top of the building got a hit on me. Body armor stopped it. This will really be the moment to allow everybody to catch up. You see they're starting to move in. Now I'm calling somebody 100 meters away. Maybe he's in one of the buildings. Oh, I'm taking fire to my right. We'll drop some grenades down in here. I didn't see exactly where he was, but I feel like he's... Yeah, around right there. Oh, there he is. Here, we'll just take care of him with 5.56 five, rather than going with launch grenades. Oh, jeez. This guy's rushing up. Oh, and he was right around the corner. Please don't get hit. As soon as one of my guys end up getting hit, that's going to reduce our momentum immensely. I'm going to have to be the one to work on him. But every every enemy force that we've been engaging, with the exception of those at the very beginning, have really felt like they've just been single individuals. So we should outnumber them. Yeah, they'll get the jump on us when it comes to the element of surprise, engaging us from inside buildings where it'll be difficult to return fire and a lot of times even locate where they're at. That's okay. Alright, get back with everybody else here. Got more forces up here. Remember, there was somebody that was on the road. So I am kind of curious if we've got a lot of forces that are up here on this road. I mean, maybe we can make a push that way. Oh, one of my guys got hit. I'm glad I got this many AI. I feel like I would be in a situation where I wouldn't be able to spot too much of anybody if it was just maybe a few of us. But now that we've got, well, I think we've got a seven section or seven man section now. It's still enough people to have good eyes all around us. 
and to be able to engage forces. Oh, somebody way up there on the hill. Hey, another one shotter. I feel like I'm getting a lot better with uh, with this particular series, especially with the L85A2. This is probably the longest I've ever used this weapon. All right, still good. Still got the tank behind us, but with the type of combat that we're seeing, I don't feel like it's necessarily too valuable. Risk, I think, outweighs the reward here. But look, we've got some guys that are scattered around. Got some guys that are in buildings. We don't want to level these buildings. Okay, that was a lot of fire in a short amount of time. Is he in one of these buildings? Yep, there's somebody right there. Oh, two guys that were out here. Those must have been the guys that were like firing a lot. Okay, this is a good place for us to kind of stop here and regroup. Get a few of these guys up here and got some enemy forces. It looks like to our left. Oh, that guy was just right by that tree. See, there's a lot of guys close quarters from us. Here, I'll right here. I might as well just go ahead and work on getting Johnson taken care of. You know what? Maybe that wasn't Johnson who got the shot. I mean, he's still got AT on his back. Guys at the checkpoint. One down, but there's probably a couple more that are behind it. Surprised everybody's staying together as well as they are. That guy's seriously just relaxing despite all of that. Alright, we'll give him that one. Oh, another person. Yeah, we've walked into the middle of a lot of enemy forces here. Taking some fire from that truck. Probably drop some grenades right around it. Because even if I'm not able to get some of the fighters, I could have been able to shoot both sides. But I was just saying, if I make that thing blow up, the explosion enough should kill anybody who might be lying prone and, you know, won't be in a position to be hit by these grenades. Oh, we got Hallowell down. All right, we're going to drag him back here exactly for this reason. You can hear the fire that is being exchanged between me. Well, I guess the guys on my team and enemy forces. I can't wait too long. Oh, somebody's coming down from the top of that hill, too. I can see him in the bushes. He hit me. He hit another one of my guys. I think it was Harrison. Drop a grenade up there. Might still be over there. Ah, oh, that one went too high. As soon as I fired it, though, he got out of the way. All right, we've got him dropped. Okay, we've got two guys that are down right here. We have Hallowell and we have Harrison. Yes, we do. Now, if I can get Harrison taken care of as a medic, he should be able to help out with anybody else, but we've just got Hallowell. I'll have him hold this position while I treat everybody. I mean, I've still got to take care of myself too, but I'm going to worry about these guys first. I mean, seriously, they've been absolutely invaluable with us getting to this point here into the town. A lot more enemy forces than I had anticipated, and... Given that, I will take two wounded guys. I mean, we don't have anybody killed yet. Hopefully, we don't have anybody killed on this mission, though. All right, things are quiet. What I'll probably do is as soon as I get these guys up, and I might even do it before. Yep, I was going to say, I need somebody to cover me. We had one person come up from that direction. Probably should have some other people, too. 
throw smoke. Maybe I'll move these guys back a little bit more too. I'll have to carry them. All right, man. Sorry about that. I know uh, Rollins is probably not happy about the fact that I just threw some white smoke in front of him, but this is going to be the only way to protect us, and me specifically, as we try and move Harrison and also Hallowell back a little bit. Anybody who is able-bodied is going to go right here. This is where we're going to consolidate. I feel like this might be a good spot for Harrison right here. We've got two buildings. Got a couple guys that are in front of him. Okay, we'll get Burr in there too. All right, let's get Hallowell and similarly pull him back here. I feel like White Smoke is about ready to go here at any moment. Yep, there it is. Okay, I'm out in the open. The only thing that prevents me or Harrison or Hallowell from getting killed are these guys who are lying prone. I wouldn't call this necessarily like mass cas or anything, but still a lot of us who are really hurting after the engagements we've had so far, including myself. Okay, we'll release him here. They both should be stabilized, so it's a matter of just applying first aid. And then they should be able to use their own uh, first aid kits on themselves. Oh, here comes somebody. Man, Johnson got hit a couple times. His arm's bleeding. It looked like he'd gotten hit in the shoulder or something. Perfect. Okay, so Hallowell's going to get back up. He will return to the fight, but still going to need him to patch himself at some point. Just the added gun will be helpful. Do the same thing with Harrison right here. Get him treated. I could have him go around too and heal everybody. One of the things that's important to note is like if you heal yourself, you'll get to, and you're not a medic, I should say, um, you'll get to like 75% of your original health. So having the medic be the one who does the healing, that's important because that's the one person that can get you back to that 100% medical efficiency. Awesome. Okay, now I've just got to find where Burr is. Okay, there's Hallowell. Should be good. Oh, there's Burr. He's probably just stuck. So I can take him over if I have to. Oh, geez. Who or what was that? Oh, we've got somebody else who is in that structure. Okay, we'll get him at some point here. Oh, man, Burr's dead. I was not expecting that. There was nothing that told me that he was injured or anything like that. Well... Because we're going to have to wait and see about what John Tipton is going to have to do now that he's down a man. Shit. We lost Burr. I thought there was a chance to save him or at least stabilize him until the medevac chopper could make it to us. However, we didn't know the extent of his wounds until it was too late. The man fought hard until a bitter end. I can't dwell on it yet, as we still have to fight to get to extraction. The town seems clear, but the Taliban might be moving to cut us off from our LZ. Time to move quickly. Okay, so I'm going to take what I can from him. Having gone through some of my own supplies here, my medical supplies at least. Let's see what I can do. All right, this guy's down. Question is, who ended up taking him down? I mean, the person might have already moved on came at us from another direction or something. But yeah, we do have to get moving. Those of us who are still alive, we're going to have to move, finish clearing it out, but taking a lot of fire as I run past that wall just tells me we are not out of the woods yet. We still have our objective to complete, which is obviously clearing out this area of enemy forces. Team Green, move up. 
Okay, at this point, with the amount of casualties that we've taken, it's time to bring the tank up, so we'll make sure that he comes up on the road. I don't think that's too far away from where he was. He's still going to have to go through the valley, kind of come up it. That worries me because, like, if he hit a tree, if he hits a tree or a rock or something like that, I mean, this is Arma. He could end up getting high centered or something, or like flips. And then I've lost my tank here for this mission. But that direction in front of us, that's where I was taking most of the fire from. You can even see from where the bullets were landing on the wall. It's kind of the direction they were hitting from. Still got this guy in here. There we go. I should have gotten him. Here I was talking about trying to minimize the amount of destruction to the town, but I'm kind of ignoring it now, as you've noticed. It's more of a factor of trying to survive than it is trying to, to keep all these homes safe. But it doesn't look like that there was too much damage. Not like any of the buildings got flattened or anything yet. Three, patch yourself up. All right, once... Harrison is good. We're going to get up and start moving here. Now, the direction that we have to go is going to be off to our left. Remember, we've got the tank coming up the road, so we'll probably follow that direction. We've had one checkpoint on the road, which is a little bit to our right, and I think the direction that we're taking some of that fire from, I uh, don't know if there's going to end up being more uh, checkpoints. Usually, you'll have checkpoints... On two sides of an area that you want to protect so we'll continue down this road see if there is anybody all right but here we go it's gonna take a while for the tank to get to us and again it could be in a situation where it won't be able to get to us so i'm gonna plan that it's not coming I mean, we could always steal that truck down there if we need to there they go man they annihilated whoever that was Still got a bunch of people that are around here. I shouldn't say a bunch, but got somebody around here. You know, I'm just going to clear the other side of this this roadblock. See if anybody's lying prone on the other side. Eh, nobody that's alive. Don't see anybody else on that hill either. I was just worried because we saw that person uh, not that long ago. I was able to you know, down him in one shot, but wondering if there is anybody else who is alone. Could be like a sniper or something. Oh, somebody in the other part of the town. They're engaging him. And there's the mortar, too. Even though on the map it showed that at least for a while it showed that we had somebody who was manning that mortar, but we must have taken that person out. All right, just following the tracers of Rollins there. Supposed to be somewhere in this direction. Okay, even though we've got to clear everything, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do it like I might leave him for the tank if he can move up. I can see him at the bottom right of the map moving ridiculously slow. So it's either he's moving up that hill or he has gotten stuck. I'm figuring it's probably the latter. So not banking on any more armored support for this mission. I'll have to give credit to the AI on the team though. They've taken out a lot of enemy forces on their own. Sometimes I feel like... It is very much one-sided to where I am the one who is taking out most of the enemy, but I feel like it's been a lot more balanced, at least for this mission. All right, about ready to reach this elevated position. Hopefully it lets me look down the road a little bit. I don't see any further incline. Perfect, he's been downed. Yeah, we've got somebody else. These guys around this truck... Oh, Static MG. Luckily, he was facing down the road opposite of me. Man, 75 meters left flank. Well, I basically single-handedly took out that, that truck and those who were kind of banning it here, too. Again, we 
If we need to make a quick getaway, we could take one of these trucks. I guess one thought, though, I don't know if got IEDs in them or something like that it's set to blow. Uh, one guy on the road. Good hit getting me. I don't know if that was intentional or he missed somebody else, but looked like, yeah, I was going to say it looked like we had one person who ended up getting killed. This will be the second time in this mission, too, that somebody will have been down that I didn't know that they were. That's okay. We'll get Johnson patched up here pretty quickly. Just him, and, and that's it. Once we get him stabilized, we'll go ahead and apply that first aid. I'll probably just have him go ahead and give himself his own first aid kit. It's honestly all he's probably going to need just as we try and move out of here. Okay, so we've got our LZ to the south. There's just one part of the town that we still have left to go to, but fortunately it is going to be between us, our current position, and the LZ. So we'll move in there pretty quickly. Okay, been able to get him back up. Now we're moving through the town. It's been nothing but quiet here. Looks like we've got it. I'll wait for everybody else to move here too. Looks like one, two, three. Maybe they're just having a hard time moving. Oh, what was that? As in like, where was that coming from? It sounds like it's close. Don't see anybody out there. Ready. I mean, they're still firing in this direction. I'm looking where they're aiming too, just to try to see if I can kind of triangulate. Oh, there he is in that bush. Mad props to my guys for spotting him. There's no way I would have been able to find him. I would have been dropped so quickly if I would have moved up with everybody else. All right, helicopter is almost here. Make sure we get him moving. Oh, one more. Okay, they're coming in just a little bit at a time. It has been difficult for the AI to move around this area. I mean, that is pretty common uh, in an urban environment. These guys are going to have it pretty difficult but i made sure we got everybody to the road this isn't going to be the lz we're going to keep heading to the south a little bit we'll find that open area oh, i thought i could hear the chopper oh, i can hear the chopper okay good i always get like worried that i'm hearing things that aren't there like I'm hearing things that I want to hear. Perfect, there he is. Do we move a little bit more? I think we do. Still gonna throw the green smoke just to let him know that we're here. Might have to move a little bit more south into that field. That's pretty close. I think to where we got picked up in the very first episode when we were here at Ramir. I think he's going to be here. And we've got close air support bird in too. So if there is anybody who we may have missed, he'll go ahead and take him out. But that is going to be it here for this episode. We're going to have more of this to come later on. Uh, in fact, I think we've got maybe three or four episodes of this left. And then I am working on the next one. So subscribe if you haven't already. If you like this story type of content that follows one individual, make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified again when new episodes end up coming out if you can donate to help support this channel remember this particular series is made possible thanks to everybody at patreon so i can do more with more financial contributions so if you can donate a few dollars to the patreon every month please do so it goes a long way if you want to join our discord to be brought in the know on different things that are going on if you're interested with our arma 3 uh, our community's arma 3 mil sim unit that information is in the discord we'd love to have you there but again, that's going to be it here for this episode. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Or as hell, you don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six. Again, we're headed back with one less member of the section alive. We've heard, though, that we've got a beat on where the Taliban HQ is. 
We're all amazed that it was right under our nose and overlooking our main base. We're going to get back, rearm, and get resupplied and move on the position as quickly as we can. 